That same year, Sergeant William Carney entered the military and became a member of what was called the 54th Massachusetts Voluntary Infantry. You may remember that this regiment was depicted in the movie Glory that, was, that came out back in 1989. Well, in July of 1863, Carney found himself in the midst of battle. After being wounded, Sergeant Carney saw that the color bearer had gone down a few feet away from him. Carney summoned all the strength that he had, retrieved the colors, and continued the charge. During the charge, he was shot several more times, yet he kept the colors flying high. Once delivering back the flag back to his regiment, he told his friends, boys, I only did my duty. The flag, the old flag, never touched the ground. Sergeant Carney also received the Medal of Honor for his acts of valor. Although most of us will probably not be called upon to act heroically under fire like Private Brandle and Sergeant Carney, we can each still find ways to help our country and to give service, whether we are young or old. I've been impressed by the story of a young man, a persistent young man named Robert Heft, who found a way to serve our country. I'd like to tell you his story. In the late 1950s, the United States was about to add two new territories, Alaska and Hawaii, as states to the Union. That presented a small problem to Congress. You see, Congress has the responsibility of the design for the flag. Now, with 48 states, it was easy to show the design with six rows of stars with eight stars in each row. But how do you add two more stars and still have a respectable pattern? Well, there was a school teacher in Lancaster, Ohio, who gave the problem to his students as a school project. A student by the name of Robert Heft had an idea. He thought that if the pattern alternated between a row of six stars followed by a row of five stars, there would be a regular and symmetric pattern. Altogether, there would be five rows of six stars and four rows of five stars for a total of 50 stars. One source indicates that Robert spent hours sewing stars onto a piece of cloth. He turned his project in, but his teacher gave him a B minus for his efforts. Now, Robert didn't give up. He knew he had a good idea, and so he submitted his idea to his congressman. Congress liked the idea, which a few others also submitted, and as Alaska and Hawaii became the two newest states to our union, the U.S. flag bore the design of a schoolboy, Robert Heft, from Ohio. According to a statement later attributed to Robert, his teacher later changed his grade from a B- minus to an A. <laughs> it has been said that history will not long remember most, or perhaps any of us, but it will judge us by the legacy that we leave. Thank you, Exchange Club members, community leaders, city staff, and volunteers for giving us an opportunity this last week to remember what it means to live in the United States and to enjoy the freedoms that we enjoy. Thank you for helping us to remember the legacy of those who've gone before us and those who continue to serve us today, especially our veterans, military members, and first responders. And thank you for giving us an opportunity to think about the legacy that we want to leave for those who will come after us. It is my hope that each of us will recommit ourselves after this event today to leave a positive legacy. I hope that we will continue to look for ways to serve others, whether it's in a heroic manner like Private Brandle or Sergeant Carney, or perhaps in a more simple manner like young Robert Heft, who didn't give up on his good idea. As we put forth a good effort and work together, there's no doubt in my mind that we can make positive, lasting contributions to our community our state and our nation. Thank you.